George, it was a horrific discovery. A mother finds her only son shot to death on her back porch. Nearly one year later, the case is cold, and now that mother is pleading with the public to help bring the killer to justice. WLKY's Lauren Adams is live at LMPD headquarters tonight with more. Lauren? Rick, family came here earlier tonight standing alongside police to make that plea. Now, police admit it's been about a year since they received any substantial tips, but the family of Quentin Logan is certain, Rick, someone knows something. I miss him every day. It's hard for me to go to my mother's house. I have to literally sit and prepare myself to even go to my own mother's house. Because that's where, in the early morning hours of May 18th, 2014, Michelle Seabrook's mother discovered the lifeless body of her brother, 38-year-old Quentin Logan. Vera Sumare had just returned from taking an elderly relative to the hospital when she saw her son slumped over sitting on the porch of her 42nd Street home. I didn't feel no breath, no nothing. I see this every day, no matter what, on my job, when I'm doing my job, I see it, I feel it. While police have never identified a suspect, Michelle Seabrooks believes the killer was someone the family knew, someone her brother would have considered a friend. He trusted you, whoever you are, he trusted you. You were to be in my mother's yard, he trusted you. Alongside LMPD homicide detective Emily McKinley, who admits the case has grown cold. The case initially had some good leads. The family is pleading for answers. Help us. Have some peace. You know, that's all we want is some peace. Vera Sumari worries she might not live to see an arrest, but Michelle Seabrook says she has dedicated herself to giving her mother peace and her baby brother justice. I'm not going to give up. My brother deserves that much. Now, Rick, Vicki, let's talk about this. The detective and the family both stressed tonight they believe that even the smallest amount of information could help crack this case. Now, the victim was, was last seen alive around midnight by his sister, as you just heard. It was around 1.30 when his mother found him. So anyone that was in that area between those hours, that's the 300 block of South 42nd Street, or anyone that might know anything about this case, is asked to please call 574-LMPD. Reporting live downtown tonight, Lauren Adams, WLKY News. Thank you, Lauren. And here's something else that could help. A neighbor who heard the gunshots reported seeing a woman dressed in a longer coat, similar to a trench coat, running across the street to a waiting car. He described it as a white Lincoln town car. Again, anyone with information is asked.